you know, when you look at this, how much it is, and then you even just look at a motorcycle, I guess that's where high manufacturing capacity really helps. But then I've also just heard the carbon layup process, you know, still takes quite a bit of labor even when they try to automate certain aspects. Yeah. Well, then the carbon material itself, I hear that it's had high prices too. You got a carbon ring. Ring? Like on your hand? Yeah. Huh. I didn't even know about those. at a pivot at least from a company basis support and design but yeah pivot's a great company luckily when i got this bike it was two years ago just as the pandemic was starting and so they were still offering a nika discount But their Nike discount only applied to the cross-country bikes too. Sometimes you go out with the Wasatch team and ride with them. Yeah. Yeah. Buddy, rider from behind. 
I guess it's just him. He didn't say if anybody else is coming. I think we're good. It's pretty wet up here. Yep. decent drainage so even though it rained yesterday it's not a quagmire I mean, there's a few spots here and there like that you know where the dirt gets a little sticky I'm good. I'm having fun. I don't need to pass you guys. It's fun talking to Jeff. This next winter, I'll try doing the things of putting in all the kids' family. Well, I think you have to be over 18 for river permits. Maybe I think I used to just do it for me, but next year, Diane and me. So what happens is, <laughs> if we ever get a permit, that's when we call up Dave. Hey Dave, you want to go on a river trip? We got a permit. Because their family, they have five fully rigged boats. So their family tends to go on many river trips, especially 